it's that time of the year where everybody's picking up a new thing you know we just started a new year you probably want to learn a new skill or you want to start working out but for most people uh you want to pick up a new tech skill say and you're thinking of what to learn or what to pick up in this video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the tech skills that you can pick up that are not very popular but with the projection of things and with the way things are going you might want to strongly consider them but before i get into that i think the first thing that i'm going to talk about is some things you need to consider for you to choose a particular skill to go into and the first thing is your previous skills right you need to think about what you already know or where you're coming from because that way it will be easier for you to pick up some more things rather than some other right say if you have uh, a background in mathematics or something some things might appeal to you more or say you have a background in design some things might appeal to you more then the next thing is learning curve you want to think about how much time you have and how much time you can put into learning whatever you want to learn and you want to see how long do you think it's going to take you to learn whatever skill you want to pick up that way you know that oh i can dedicate six months of my life and i should be able to learn this uh, and the reason why i'm saying this is because there are some things that are harder to pick there are some skills that are harder to pick than the others there are some skills you have to spend more time on than the others so you want to think about that and also the next thing you want to think about is the job market i know i'm listing these skills because i think they have a prospective larger market and they are probably going to grow in 2024 and the year beyond but you also want to do your research and look at the job options the job openings and one last thing i'm going to also say is that which is related to the second point that i said is to check roadmaps even before you start learning you want to see what are the things that i'm going to learn and do i think i can really learn these things and if you can think about all these things the learning curve uh your previous skills how much is it how long is going to take you to learn and also the job market i can say you have already taken the first step that is going to distinguish you between every other person that is trying to pick up a new skill this 2024 now let's get into the skill but before we get into all the skills that i think you might want to consider learning go ahead and click on the like button because why you like the video or drop a comment uh comments really go a long way just say what uh and also click on the subscribe button i see that there are a lot of people a couple of percentage of people will probably put it down below that watch my videos but have not subscribed so you might want to click on the subscribe button it really goes a long way. i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers so let's do it now let's get into the skill One final thing that I would say about the skills that I'm going to list here is that I'm probably not going to talk so extensively about this the the fields or the skills because I've not I've done a couple of them but I've not done everything and I don't know a lot about a i don't know a lot about some of them so i will just gloss over them and some of the things you might need to learn let's start with cyber security is this the one where i can learn how to uh scam sir now maybe you were expecting that i was going to say or maybe you're not going to expect it now the first thing that i'm going to say is that if you're one of those doomsday people or you believe that you know it's some like the big tech companies are you know spying on you or they are looking at whatever you are doing you probably want to really think about this because for most folks and almost for everybody and in the coming years we might all as well just change our local address to the internet because that's really where everybody's living now that's where all your data is that's where like if i type in your name i'll most likely find out a lot about you where you are from where you grew up probably from your facebook or something now this is a potential problem if we don't really take good care of it if you don't really secure our data and you see a lot of big tech companies or a lot of even companies are putting news about their data being hacked because data really is the currency of the future now this poses an opening for the good guys which is that companies are going to start looking for how to secure their servers how to secure the data that they are storing and how to make sure that they are 
clients or their users feel safe. And that's why you come in as a cybersecurity engineer. So if you're really interested in securing data, you might strongly want to consider this particular field. And for you to really excel in this field, although I'm not going to list everything, some of the things you need to know is you need to understand computer science fundamentals. You need to know about operating systems, uh, a little bit about hardware, you know, the networking devices that we have. In terms of like networking devices, you also need to know more about networking in general, how to subnet, networking protocols, some security standards. You also need to maybe know at least a programming language or maybe a scripting language because sometimes you might need to write some scripts. And after that, you then need to go ahead and get a certification because cybersecurity is such a very peculiar field. I can tell you that you will most likely not get a role or a job if you don't have some particular certification. Funny thing was that cybersecurity was actually one of the first things that I learned when I entered into tech. So I took this uh, Cisco course while I was in school. The first one was networking fundamentals and then there was there were these self-paced course that were related to cybersecurity. So I've always been interested in cybersecurity. The next thing we'll talk about, which is also related to data, but in a different way, is data science. Now, because we have a lot of data on the internet and you've probably, there's this meme, I don't know if my editor is gonna put it there. You know I got you, brother. Somebody was saying, big data, machine learning, blockchain, artificial intelligence, digital manufacturing, big data analysis, quantum communication, and internet of things you know this very funny thing now data is like i said data is the currency of the future and that's because most for companies to send targeted advertisement your ways or for them to suggest things for you they need to collect a lot of data and a lot of companies are collecting a lot of data also now to make sense of this data some analysis need to go into it some Things need to go into it for us to make sense of data. And that's where you come in if you decide to go into data science. Now, data science is a multidisciplinary field. Uh, it uses statistics, uh, some algorithms, some system to like extract knowledge and insight from structured and unstructured data. I also did this at some point. Don't mind me. I did a lot of things growing up. Now, if you want to go into data science, this is probably some of the things you need to learn. The first thing is you need to learn a programming language. Usually the most common ones are Python and R, but I was using R while I was learning data science. Then now you need to learn some data science tools or some li libraries, some Python libraries uh, like NumPy, Pandas. Those are really for data manipulation and anal analysis. Then after that, you think about data visualization. You, you think about Matplotlib and then you continue to learn from them. You can search more about the roadmap. Now, I should say that this is a very more mathematical field, in my own opinion, because you need to know a lot of statistics for you to probably be able to function very well. So if you are not very good with mathematics, uh, probably don't think about this, this role. But if you think you can catch up, why not go ahead and pick up this one? Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about, which you, a lot of people are probably like you were probably expecting before is machine learning and artificial intelligence mostly now i think if you've not been living on that rock the only thing that everybody has been talking about for the past couple of months you know and all the old chat gpt and all the old open ai saga is artificial intelligence every company now seems to to improve their stock or to increase their stock seem to be adding AI to whatever tools or whatever software that they're already producing. Now you can already see that the potential of artificial intelligence is very great. And the, the, the number of roles that would open up in 2024 and beyond, and those that have even been opening up in 2023 is very massive. So if you're looking for a very lucrative field or a very lucrative skill to pick up in 2024, I can almost tell you that machine learning and artificial intelligence is one thing to think about, is one field to particularly consider. Another one, another skill that I think might be very, very important for you to pick up 
which is gaining a lot of traction now is cloud computing. So cloud computing is a technology that sort of like involves delivering computing uh, services such as compute and storage over the internet instead of relying on the local server or your personal computer. So for most new companies and even big companies don't think about setting up their own server or having their own server stores that they put in, you know, routers, they put in their networking devices for storing their data or they put in cpu ram and everything for storing their data now most companies are moving to cloud computing you talk about aws you talk about microsoft azure and you talk about google cloud platform now this also opens a lot of roles and creates a lot of opportunities if you are looking to pick up a new skill if you've watched this video so far i would really say that click on the like button if you've not go ahead and click also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to drop a comment about what you would like to see next on this channel now the last video i'm going to be talking about is augmented reality and virtual reality ar or vr now i should say that i don't think everybody is going to start living in the virtual world now but i think the applications of ar and vr are so massive in the field of education medicine gaming and even entertainment because the things that we can do with AR and VR are so massive. Say you you are studying medicine or even you're a doctor and you want to learn how to perform a particular operation that you've not performed before. You can visualize that or you can put that into a VR headset and try over and over and over and over until you get it. And with the new headsets that Apple is releasing and the, a lot of hype that they are putting on that. I, I would say that opportunities are bound in the field of AR and VR. Now, if you're very interested, go ahead and look for a roadmap, get some courses on Udemy and also for all the other fields that I've mentioned. And one last thing before I sign out, I should say that if you're going to pick up anything this new year or you're going to learn anything this new year, you want to be so disciplined about it. You want to draft out a plan even before you start learning. Draft out a plan, check the roadmap, know the things you are going to learn because that's really the best way that you can learn and you're going to achieve what you want to achieve. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye. Happy New Year too, by the way.